so much Modern Warfare 2 intel just dropped today. And in this one, we're running down everything you'll need to know. Do me a favor as we go along, drop your thoughts below on what you like hearing the most out of this, what you're looking forward to the most from what we learned, whatever the case, drop it down below. But of course, if you enjoy the video, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay updated with all things Modern Warfare 2. Campaign's going live in two days, the full game next week and season one shortly to follow in less than a month. We'll keep you today with everything you need to know here. So make sure you subscribe and join us on the road to half a million subscribers. Finally, my friends at G Fuel of Code Espresso bumped up to 30% off your entire order. Best savings here for that, but check it out if you guys are at all interested. But let's get into it. In today's blog dropped by Call of Duty, they detailed just about everything you could expect to hear in regards to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Some of this will expand upon further in the coming days to give a fuller breakdown of everything you need to know in regards to that specific topic. But a lot of what we'll see here is more so top down level information, and they detailed we'll see more blogs on specific things to expand upon that even further again in the coming days here. But it gave us an overview of basically everything we'd expect in the next actually two months beyond just the season one launch. So for this, we of course learned firstly about Modern Warfare 2's campaign early access detailing a little bit further. We finally got some official confirmation about the preload times here for this, in which the preloading begins on the 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific time for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. It seems like there is no hold here on this for PC, having it just a little bit later in terms of preloads. That's something that normally happens. So definitely nice. Now it seems like they also detailed a little bit of preloading rollout for the full game as well, starting on the 19th for Xbox, the 20th at 4 a.m. Pacific time for regional rollout, starting with PlayStation. And then PC will have that delayed preload here for the full game, starting on October 26th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So again, that's to avoid some data mining here and everything that comes along normally with that stuff. So we know about campaign early access. We know about the initial launch here on the 28th. And then they detailed a little bit further on. Modern Warfare 2's preseason, as they call it, will be October 28th to November 15th. That's basically the time we have to end up grinding out all our weapons, going through our military ranks and all things like that before we get ready for Season 1's launch on November 16th, which will then bring along Warzone 2, DMZ, and additional Modern Warfare 2 content, including a new Battle Pass system, which they detail a little bit later and we'll come back to, is a brand new Battle Pass system. So we'll see how that all works out. December 14th is the next date they gave us, which is Season 1 Reloaded, which is interesting because we didn't think we'd see that far out this early on. But Season 1 Reloaded will introduce raids. Right now, it's not mentioned if ranked play will come along with that, but with that being around the start time of the CDL season, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see it either just before, just after, or maybe even with that update as well. But that's your next two months here of Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 2. Jumping more so into specific details of the game, multiplayer was broken down a little bit in which we learned about on day one, 12 unique modes with 10 of those coming in core maps and two of them coming in ground war battle maps. So presumably just your regular ground war and then also invasion for the ground war modes. And then the 10 traditional modes will be probably what we saw in the beta along with a couple of others here as well. They broke down that a lot of the maps that we'll see across Modern Warfare 2 come down to our Masra, Las Almas, and the rest of the world for the three main geographical locations here for this. So we're going to see a lot of thematic continuity, perhaps, in which we have maps taken straight from the Warzone 2 map. We have other locations coming in Central America, and then also just the rest of the world, where we'll see things like probably Grand Prix as a map, which takes place in Singapore, obviously not taking place in Almazra or Las Almas. Now, the one thing that they did not detail, which I'm very curious on, is the number of maps we'll see at launch. We, of course, saw three within Ground War in the beta. We saw a handful of other maps. I want to say, like, what, five off the top of my head for traditional multiplayer. So, fingers crossed, we get a decent offering here in regards to the map set on offer on day one, but nothing has been detailed of that just yet. Moving along, though, they detailed a little bit about Spec Ops, in which they did state that there will be more information, a full reveal here for Modern Warfare 2's Spec Ops offering coming closer to launch, but we learned a little bit about some of the missions here, three of them launching with Modern Warfare 2, named Bad Situation, Vehicle Escape, and Observatory Defense, where you have to infiltrate a town in the dead of night to uncover intel and evidence left behind by Alcatala, where stealth is key in that mission. Then another where multiple SAM turrets are preventing reinforcement enforcements and you have to take those out and then observatory defense being stated as a love letter to fans of survival mode you have to defend the observatory from increasingly difficult waves of enemies attempting to detonate bombs where between each wave operators can spend cash to get items such as kill streaks revive kits and armor plates so kind of your more so regular round-based mission perhaps they detailed some of the class sets you'll have or rather kits in which you can have assault medic or engineer kits and you rank those up by earning stars throughout the missions and mission related challenges now it's interesting because they said that 
that you can end up getting each of these kits to rank 10 and that you're going to want to do that before raids which appears to be spec ops related not necessarily warzone related but instead spec ops related which kind of gives more reason now to play spec ops so that you're ready for raids with season one and then also just the ability to take part in them and earn the rewards that come along with those. So very interesting to see how that's all going to work. We ended up learning a little bit about the progression system where they say there's going to be more information coming before launch. So we'll see this expanded upon here in the coming days, but we'll have our military ranks levels one to 55, where you unlock all weapon platforms, multiplayer loadout items, and spec ops kits. It is detailed that with season one, we'll see a new battle pass system again, coming back to that, like we mentioned earlier, we don't have any details on it, but it will be interesting to see how that works out. And then unfortunately, for those that were hoping maybe the classic systems will return that's not the case it is confirmed here that we will see seasonal prestiges once again with modern warfare 2 and as anybody that's followed the sort of business side of things the last three years that's kind of a no-brainer i wasn't really expecting traditional prestige to come back though i would have loved to see it but seasonal prestiges are indeed confirmed here now it is mentioned that it's pretty cool in terms of progression stuff we'll have daily challenges at launch and also it seems like we'll have career challenges as well listed as career milestones that can give xp and cosmetic rewards so pretty cool to see how that all comes down. Hopefully we end up having a decent bit to do in regards to that. Then they moved on by stating that we'll have 25 operators available at launch, some of which unlockable through campaign, multiplayer, and spec ops challenges, just like we saw within Modern Warfare 2019. But we saw a full breakdown of those. You can see those on screen for you guys. What we'll end up getting at launch through, again, challenges or already unlocked operators. But then they ended up detailing a little bit about weapons and the weapon platforms we'll see. Detailed at launch, there will be 33 unique weapon platforms available for players to unlock through the military ranks now that doesn't mean we'll only see 33 weapons because platforms of course denote multiple weapons out of that weapon family so you can end up getting anywhere from one to six weapons in regards to that weapon family but it's stated that we'll have 51 primary and secondary weapons when all is said and done so that means 10 assault rifles four battle rifles seven smgs six lmgs four shotguns six marksman rifles three snipers one riot shield five sidearms four launchers and one melee a secondary weapon so pretty interesting to see that's a decent amount of weapons here it seems like relatively on par with if not a little more than modern warfare 2019 if my memory serves me correctly could be wrong on that one so don't take that as gospel right now but a lot of weapons to grind out and of course rank up to be ready for whatever you want to do going forward into modern warfare 2 and then into warzone we of course will have camos and progressions along with that so very interesting to see what the camos are like on this but beyond that that is essentially the details that we got for modern warfare 2 and what's upcoming they detailed a little bit of additional stuff as well the biggest one that i would say is interesting to myself and you as well is that you can end up getting some free cosmetics here in the launch window of modern warfare 2 because they're bringing back twitch enabled drops so that means that come launch october 28th to november 6th all you have to do is watch one of your favorite streamers wink wink i'm gonna be streaming on twitch as well link found in the description below if you guys want to follow over there but at the markers of 15 30 minutes 45 minutes and 60 minutes watched you end up getting specific cosmetic items like a calling card and emblem combo a sticker a charm and a weapon blueprint for what looks like a sniper or battle rifle here at that so that's something that all you have to do is just simply watch the game you can tab into a stream and just leave it open have your twitch and your call of duty accounts linked up and you'll get it for free so beyond that that is everything that we learned here in this sort of launch blog more stuff is going to be debuted over the coming days leading up to modern warfare 2's launch not only here for campaign but also the full game next week so we'll keep you up to date with absolutely everything you need to know of course so if you guys want to stay up to date with all that make sure you subscribe but that's what we're gonna call it love to get your thoughts and feedback down below what are you looking forward to the most here out of this what may have been omitted here from this that you were hoping to learn a little more about whatever the case drop your thoughts below but if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on the video again make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all things modern warfare 2 but for now that's what we're gonna call it i'll see you guys later thanks so much for watching my name is espresso take care and peace